Well, I think a lot of planning goes into it, certainly behind the scenes before you ever see the results of those projects. We've been so impressed with the will in Tampa this year. You know, in the midst of the pandemic, we're getting these projects done, thanks to great partners like the, the host committee and Keep Tampa Bay Beautiful, um, and the sponsors Jack mentioned coming on board too. And we've seen more people than ever want to jump in on these projects this year, which is giving us a chance to do even more than we usually do. So we, we started with the the sand dune restoration or creation project at Picnic Island. We're gonna be back there in December to plant a bunch of mangroves um, to help with erosion control on Picnic Island. And one of the parts I like best about that upcoming project is we're also going to engage kids and they'll be planting baby mangroves that will be, they'll help grow and then plant those in the years to come. Um, we're also doing some great restoration projects, revitalization projects, one at McKay Bay, one at uh, Lowry Park with Zoo Tampa. Um, we're looking at building a community garden at Keep Tampa Bay Beautiful's Education Center. Um, we're also doing, um, you know, a lot of invasive removal at different places. We already have done a, a tree planting at a Boys and Girls Club. I think we just planted 50 trees there. Um, coming up in November, we're going to be planting a pollinator garden at Veterans Memorial Park. So lots of great projects coming up. And because we've had more sponsors come on board recently, we're looking to do even more.